Okay, so it is recording, and of course he's greasy as always. Um, first, we're going to look, let's see if we can identify some of these muscles. Oh, zoom in, touching the dirty screen. Okay. Back leg, so this is the lateral side of the leg. <clears throat> Most of the muscles are pretty well cleaned. It's not expecting it to be perfect. That's okay, and I know a lot of you have some random cuts from the preparation or skinning process, and that's unfortunate. Um, so what we're looking for, if you do have, well, you should have your hand out. The first picture you can look at, look at that will be helpful for you is page 38. It's superficial muscles of the lateral aspect of the right hind limb. So I'm going to identify these guys. And then we will do the next bisection. Okay, so I just want to clean a little bit of this connective tissue off. All right. So, first of all, remember this is the lateral side of the leg. You have a muscle kind of along this leading edge that wraps around to the inside. Anybody know what that one is? It's the sartorius, right. <clears throat> so this sartorius goes, wraps around to the other side, and we'll talk about the other side of the leg in a little bit. And then you have this little muscle, this dude right here, and it's connected to this sheath of connective tissue. This muscle and attached to this sheath, which is why I wanted to use these, this one, because it still has it, that's your tensor fascia lata or latte, I like because I like coffee. Okay, so the tensor fascia lata, or latte, is attached to this nice thick sheath. Keep it intact. If you haven't, okay. Um, but if you have, I'll show you how to get around that to see the muscles underneath. So then we have this kind of larger muscle. It's right near the back, it's right near the spine. Okay, so if you're looking at your book, someone want to tell me what this guy is? Come on, I'm going to look at a picture. This is the gluteus maximus. Okay? That is the gluteus maximus. So, sartorius, tensor fascia latte, and that includes its connection, that connective tissue. And then we have the gluteus maximus. Okay? Now, so we have this muscle behind our tensor fascia latte. And so a couple things, so behind the knee, it's a popliteal fat pad. Now these guys, Devin and Derek, already cleaned out the popliteal fat pad. And so I find that it's really easy just to stick my finger underneath this big muscle, the bicep femoris, um, because I know my finger is not gonna cause too much damage. And then I wanna go through, so you can see the blue of my glove so I know it's safe and I can just use my probe and you'll find I've noticed with these guys that there's this muscle that tends to pull up right there so what you're going to want to do is just try to separate it let it go, pull down it's one of the muscles we're going to end up not using anyways so I'm trying to let you see how I'm separating it just using my blunt probe along that edge Okay, because it is not part of this little dude. I believe this is the caudal femoralis, so we're going to ignore that. So we want to get that separate. <clears throat> now I've got my finger all the way under the bicep femoris. Before we do a bisection, we want to check and look for the sciatic nerve. So I can just, let's see if I can show you. All right, there it is. So underneath the bicep femoris, is your sciatic nerve. And if you've remembered, I told you before that it's a bundle of two nerves. So you can see it's already split right there. You can see the two nerves. So the sciatic nerve is actually a bundle of the common peroneal or tibula, fibular nerve and the tibial nerve. Okay? So once you see that it is safe and you're not going to bisect it, so either use a probe or your finger, make sure it's holding it down. See, it's under my finger. Then we're going to bisect it right through the middle. <clears throat> Note that this bicep femoris does attach, there's a huge long attachment along the front, or along the 
lower limb. I'll show you how to kind of get around that. So first of all, we're going to bisect it right in the middle, preserving our sciatic nerve. Oops, did I miss just that? Okay, there we go. And we're going to reflect it back. Sorry, moving him so we can see this better. <clears throat> there we go. Reflect it back, break the connective tissue gently with blunt probe. Blunt probe should be all you need here and it shouldn't cause any damage if you're, you know, not being super aggressive. So reflecting back the bicep femoris and you will have to be able, this guy, you're going to have to break the connective tissue and reflect it back, back as far as possible because there's some deeper things we need to look at, deeper muscles. So reflecting that back and coming down at the lower portion, reflect the bicep femoris back as well, breaking some connective tissue. Be careful because at this end is where the sciatic nerve does do its split. So there's a little bit of fat you'll have to clean up so you can see things clearly. Okay, so I'm just doing some quick cleaning. So we see here's our sciatic nerve. You can see that it splits. So what are the names? You can even look at your list if you have them. There's the split of the two nerves. I will just tell you the one that looks like it's going behind the calf muscle, which is called the gastrocnemius, by the way. You have two heads of the gastrocnemius, calf muscle. So just while we're here, so lower leg, here is part of the gas. I have to hold his leg still. Gastrocnemius right here. This is the lateral head. And then you have the medial head right here. Okay. So the nerve that's coming to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius, that is your common peroneal nerve. The one that looks like it's kind of going right to the deep portion of the middle of the lower limb, lower leg right there, that is your tibial, wait, common part, that's your tibial nerve, okay? So you do need to know the two nerves and then up in the upper portion combined, it is the sciatic nerve. Now you do have more, whoopsies, more muscles underneath. You'll just need to separate with your connect, with your blunt probe is probably all you're gonna need. You wanna be gentle up in here um, for multiple reasons, but first of all, what muscles do we get to cut? What do we get to remove? Let's see, look at our list. Remove. What's on the list? Cotofemoralis, tenuissimus, and the pre semimembranosis, or just ignore that one. I think that's a harder one to get rid of. So, where is our cotofemoralis? Let me, it's a slightly different. Weird. Weird, weird little animal. Okay, this little muscle right here, cotofemoralis. So as I was showing you before, trying to separate it from the bicep femoris, it's on the leading edge. So get up underneath it, make sure you have it separated from the muscle and connective tissue. And I'm just gonna snip that little bit. Do I hear music? Okay, so. Make sure it's not connected to anything underneath. Just gently separate it. And this is, make sure it's the cotofemoralis. And if you're not sure, just ask. So again, it's a little tiny guy. It's the leading edge of your bicep femoris, okay? You can go ahead and get up underneath it. Use your finger or your probe. And you're just gonna use, get up under as far as you can. Go ahead and snip that sucker off. It shut off. Oh, oh, the stupid. I think I've already touched. Oh, I know the connect. The cable comes disconnected. I do clean this, so don't freak out. I know I'm touching it with my dirty hands. Okay, back to the cut of femoralis. Sorry. So I already cut off the top edge, and then down at the bottom, making sure. Well, look at that. Now I'm all the way to the tendon, so I can just trim that little sucker right there, and it's gone. Okay, and that is going to help us see some deeper muscles. So this needs to be cleaned even more. Well, actually, when you're cleaning over the gluteus maximus or the medius, those muscles that have connective tissue, it's kind of hard 
to remove the connective tissue here. So as long as you see the outlines of the muscles, I'm, I'm pretty happy, okay? Um, the tenemissimus, I need to find that to tell you what muscle that is. Okay, this dude right here, Ooh, is listening to music. It's really quite rude. Please turn it off. I know I'm hearing something. Yeah, I hear a fan. I think it's the fan. What fan? It sounds like a rhythm. All right. We'll say it's the fan. So, you're going to want to get up really deep underneath your bicep femoris. You're going to need to use your probe. Push back these muscles. So you're going to have your gluteus maximus. And if we get deeper, so let me see, deeper page for you to look at. Hmm. I don't like those. Okay, um, just on page 39. So I want to show you, so you have your gluteus maximus. So this is the other thing you're going to need to do. Use your probe and you're going to gently work yourself underneath the gluteus maximus. There shouldn't be too much resistance. You're just breaking loose connective tissue. And so your goal, you're going to be coming out this top side. You should be able to see that connective tissue layer. So your gluteus maximus attachment is up here and down here. So I am just trying to clean in between. So this is also one that you'll bisect. I forgot to put that on the board. So then you will, once you know you're completely underneath the gluteus maximus, you will bisect it, okay? And then you will ref reflect it back. Doo -doo -doo. And what do we see underneath? What should we see underneath according to the pictures? A muscle, what muscle? The gluteus medius. Okay, you gotta find the gluteus medius. So reflecting back the top portion, trying to let you see it. And so I'm pulling it and breaking connective tissue. So we have our gluteus medius underneath, but that's not all, folks. I know, aren't you so excited? Oh yeah, that's that pre tenemissimus you don't have to know. Okay, gluteus medius. I'm almost done with the back of the leg. I mean the lateral side of the leg. Okay, what's underneath the gluteus medius, folks? There's more! I'm doing it now. Okay, so gluteus medius, nice little muscle hiding underneath your gluteus maximus. There we go. So gently using your probe again, and this is where I really recommend just using your probe. You're going to have to kind of get, find that leading edge of your gluteus medius. Okay, and kind of gently get underneath it. Gently kind of push it back because there's a little muscle kind of hiding underneath I want you to see. Okay, see that little dude? So here's the edge of the gluteus medius. Then we have this little muscle here that's hiding underneath. That's your piriformes. And what's neat about this is if you have it all nice and cleaned up, underneath the piriformes is where the sciatic nerve comes out from. Okay, so this is why you do want to clean up all the connective tissue and fat underneath your bicep femoris. Okay, is that, it's working, okay. So clean it really well so you can see the sciatic nerve and how it, let me have to move this guy so you can see it. See how the sciatic nerve is inserting underneath, let's see if I can get this, underneath the piriformis. So reflecting back gluteus medius, woo, reflecting it, oh, focus, focus, there we go. Here's our piriformis, and it kind of makes like a tunnel. See that? Right there is our sciatic nerve traveling up underneath the piriformis. Last thing I want to show you, well, there's two things, I'm sorry. There's the muscular branch of the sciatic nerve, and then we also need to find the quadratus femoris. So muscular branch of the sciatic nerve, I hope I didn't just, okay. So when you clean the connective tissue, you have to, because you have a branch, the very first branch or large branch off of the sciatic nerve, 
There we go. Break that connective tissue so you can see it better. Okay. It's way up here. It's not as obvious in cats. I mean, it's not as obvious in minks. The first branch comes over kind of to the top edge of the bicep femoris and these muscle groups here. Oh, my bad. Moving it back. Muscular branch of the sciatic nerve. This is not the best example, I'll be honest, but it's the very first branch off of the sciatic nerve when it comes out of the piriformes, out from underneath the piriformes, okay? Then the last muscle I want to point out, and then let you guys get working on that, is the quadratus femoris. If I can find it really quick, it's the deep muscle sitting underneath, whoops, Deep muscle kind of sitting underneath the sciatic nerve, underneath where that branch is. That'd be your quadratus femoris, this little dude. Okay, so this gives you some work to do, okay? And after that, we'll talk about the, uh, the inside or the medial portion of the leg. But real quick, there's one thing I want to tell you. You have, when you start working on the inside of the leg, you have two thin muscles. They're th very thin. They're like thin as sheets. We have the sartorius and then we have the gracilis. You have to get up underneath them very carefully. They are thin. Running right down the middle, you have your femoral artery, nerve, and vein. They have to stay intact, so you got to be careful when you're cleaning here. Underneath your gracilis and sartorius are some little muscles, so, and some of them are, tend to be shreddy. So you'll have to be careful when you're separating those. So I do recommend the probe when you're doing the inner thigh. Okay, so that is all. There we go. All right. So we're looking at the inner thigh or the medial portion of the lower leg. So we are looking for the sartorius, which is this nice flat muscle here. And then the gracilis, nice flat guy here. So what you need to do, if you haven't already, is get up underneath the gracilis. It's a thin muscle, okay? And you will bisect it once you've done that. And let's see, what happened here? Oh, we're cool. The little muscle down here is part of the semi-tendinosis, and we'll talk about that a little bit. So they've cleaned this, we just bisect it right in the middle remember blunt end of the scissors down using your probe as a guide gently reflect back gently break the connective tissue with your probe so you can see the deeper stuff okay and just gently pulling it back i'm going to do the same thing to the sartorius okay they separated they cleaned really well under here so you're just going to bisect the sartorius. Whoop. I like the sound effects. Okay, reflect it back. You're gonna have some connective tissue. Just kind of pull and break with your, your probe. And this is going to show you a lot more muscles, but the first thing I wanna point out and the most important thing is you have three important things running right down the middle of the thigh, your inner thigh, inner leg. So I'm gonna put my probe down underneath it, and it's like the flag. It's red, white, and blue. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. Can we see that? Or what? America. America, no. I'm from California, we say America. Okay, anyways, what's the white band? Dude, what nerve? What region are we in? The leg. The femoral. the femoral nerve. Okay, then what's the yeah? Then what's the red one? The more artery, and then what's the blue one? Yes. Do not cut these, Chris <laughs> or Matt. I don't know if you actually did. No, I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so don't cut these. These are important. You do need to know these. Okay, last bit. Shh, please. Um, you will need to do some separation on your own. Um, you have the pictures. My note to you, because I know we're running out of time for today, 
reflecting back your gracilis and your sartorius, you have these inner th leg thigh groin muscles you got to be really careful for. So in a brief, in a nutshell, I'm going to try to point out most of those really, really quick. So down here at the bottom, we have this kind of thin little muscle. It's called the semitendinosus. So I try to remember it's thin, kind of like a tendon. So semitendinosus helps me. Then we have this thicker muscle. So here, this guy, semimembranosus. I know it's kind of hard to see. So semimembranosus is thicker, okay? Then we get up and closer to the groin region, we have kind of a triangular shaped muscle. You've got your picture. Oh, let's change the page. Turning to page, or picture on page 42. Triangular shaped muscle is your abductor femoris. Da, 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 da. And then you have another one that starts running kind of right, oops, back it down. So abductor femoris, then this little guy on top of it is your pectineus. Do not confuse it with the piriformes. Piriformes is underneath your gluteus maximus and medius. Remember that? Okay. Pectineus is this little triangular muscle kind of hiding underneath your femoral artery brain and nerve. And then, so we kind of have to gently break some connective tissue, move it aside, and we're gonna see two little muscles, and these ones are tougher, so we might have to point them out next week, but deep up in, oh, they're here, it's here. Kind of pushing up, you're gonna have a set of two muscles, and the way I kind of remember and help find it, there's these nerves that run in between them, and so you'll have to push up a little bit on some of the abdominal muscles to see it. It's your iliopsoas group, so it's actually made of two muscles, your iliacus and your psoas major, and it shows it in your book, um, just as the iliopsoas, and doesn't show the nerves of, at all, of course. So we will work on that more, but hopefully you can see this. I'm trying to, there's a band of muscle. So here, all the way to here, and see how there's nerves are right in the middle of it? Okay, so this group, this is the iliopsoas. We can divide it further into the iliacus and the psoas major, but for now, we'll just stick to you knowing this band of muscles, the iliopsoas, as it shows it in the book. And a great way to remember is you have these nerves that kind of run up in between them. Okay, and then a couple more things. This nice, big, broad muscle here. What's that one? You can tell me. Look in your picture. This big, broad one, rectus femoris. It's one of your quadricep muscles. You have your rectus femoris, then kind of underneath that, or kind of right there, you have your, oh, what's it called? Vastus medialis, this guy here. And then the other one we didn't talk about on the other side. So after you re you re bisected, your bicep femoris, you have your vastus lateralis, okay? So that does it in a quick, quick nutshell. Keep it clean, keep that connected tissue around the knee. You have a lot of muscles that do attach to it. Um, so the only bisections that are happening in the, for the upper leg or in the leg at all on this side is gonna be the sartorius and your gracilis. Everything else needs to stay intact. Just separate and clean. Oopsies, sorry. So just, wow, I really did zoom in. So separate and clean, okay? And then just remembering your iliopsoas group is way high. It's above where your femoral artery and nerve are. So it's up higher. And it's a tough, like, group of muscles. Okay. <laughs>